And good afternoon, YouTube. It's the old soldier coming at you this afternoon. A little late today, I know. Um, <laughs> didn't sleep well last night. Uh, felt like somebody put an electrical cord in the middle of my back and was sending pulses down my left leg all night long that kept me up until about 4.35 o'clock this morning. So, I opted to, once I could, go back to bed and go to sleep. Um... Once I was able to finally get those pulses to subside. Nature of the beast back injury. Um, once in a blue moon, that thing flares up like that, even though I've had surgery. Uh, so, and it, it wasn't because of pain. It was that, imagine, you know, if a doctor's ever tapped you on the elbow or the knee, and it didn't really hurt, but you feel it go all the way down to your toes kind of thing. That's how it was, except for this case, it's coming from the small of my back down through my left thigh, all the way down to my foot, and then it felt like when I finally got there, somebody was tickling it with a feather, and that just went on all night long. So it made it next to impossible to go to sleep. So that's why this is getting out late today. A um, couple special shout outs as far as new subscribers. I want to thank Pex 2 a America and Sharon Bailey for subscribing to the channel. Thank you so very much. I'm humbled that you would select my channel to be a part of. Um, I certainly appreciate it. Um, and hopefully the content I bring will keep you engaged. Um, the other day I mentioned the channel Con, Guns with Con. Uh, I'm going to mention him again and I'm going to ask, you know, he, he's five subscribers the last time I checked, short of a hundred. So if you haven't already checked this young man out, and I'll put his, the link to his channel below in the description today. If you have not checked out his channel, go and help this young lad out. Um, you know, he's doing some good videos. They're, they're very engaging, but they're also, you know, he's, he's going through the scientific steps uh, of shooting, you know, to compare and contrast things of that nature. Um, so if you can't help, help the young man out and subscribe to his channel. And it's Guns with Con. And like I said, I'll put the link down below. He'll appreciate it. I will certainly appreciate it if you go check him out and subscribe to his channel. Uh, so, that being said, I hope everybody's doing okay on this great day. Um, we're down here in Parkton, North Carolina, and in Robinson County, and it is uh, getting warm outside, to say the least. Um, the sun is out and in, in, in its full radiance, I might add. Um, I don't really have to be outside today, so... In the words of a wise old once, a wise old man once told me, "If you ain't got to be somewhere, don't." And so I don't have to be outside, so I won't. <laughs> At least for the time being. Now it may all change. Mrs. Old Soldier may come up with a honeydew list, ten miles long before the end of the day. Who knows? Uh, but yesterday, uh, we talked about living off the grid, going solar, that kind of thing. Um, we talked about some of those options. They are certainly helpful. Um, some other things you may need to start considering for a prep or survival situation you haven't already done. So if you're going to what I call shelter in place. Uh, when Hurricane Florence came through here, you know, we were out of power for nine days. And with it, we ran our generator, the solar, you know, the solar power generator that I've got hooked up helped. Uh, but cooking, you know. Because I have an electric range of stove in the house, uh, we opted to use our camp stovetop and camp grill. And they take this little small, I think they're one pound bottles of propane, you can get them in the camping section at Walmart and wherever you get your camping supplies from. Uh, and it was enough to cook raw food and heat water and definitely for old soldier to make his coffee. The coffee was non-optional. Um, old soldier would have gone and broken into a Walmart during that time if he had to have to get in, to have gotten coffee. Uh, no, I wouldn't have broke in, but it it'd have been miserable on the family if I didn't have it. Um, but we, I've got a blue enamel percolator uh, that you can get in most camping sections of most department stores that have camping supplies. Uh, it's got the basket and everything. Put the coffee in there. You turn on your stove. Put that on top. And when it starts bubbling out, usually it's about done. So, those are some things you need to consider. 
Um, there's several companies that make them. Uh, Coleman is the, you know, it's, you know, the big name contender, but I would tell you, uh, Ozark Trail, which is a, a Walmart brand, makes one, and that's what I have, and I've had it for years, and it works great. Um, and then we got a little tailgater grill, uh, and like I said, you could put pots and, and other things on it, as well as cooking raw meat on the grill itself, if need be. So those are some things you need to look at investing to as well um, when you find yourself in a power out situation. Okay, uh, it helped us. Like I said, nobody likes to eat cold food if they can help it. You know, we had MREs during the height of the storm. That was what we were kind of existing off of because they didn't want to pull everything out and fire it up while the storm was going on. Um, so we lived off some MREs for a day or two, but that you know, what they were for. So. That's some things to look into getting yourself as well, folks. And then also there's the little one burner stoves you can get. Uh, that'll hold one pot, what have you, uh, again, to heat things up. You know, and Like I said, it also helped me for heating up water to shave with. Yeah, I got a beard, but I shave under here and up in here. And nobody likes cold shaving because that hurts. Feel like you're peeling your skin off. Um, hot water opens your pores up, gets the whiskers stand up, and of course I shave with a straight razor, so the more the hair is stood up, the better of a shave I get using a straight razor. Uh, and of course, if you got a straight razor and you slip with it, it makes for a very bad hair day. Um, so, But I just wanted to share that with you as well, you know, uh, to go hand in hand with your a portable solar power system. That's some other things to consider getting. Uh, if you haven't done so already. Uh, the other thing I would recommend, you know, if, if you haven't done so, get you a, depending on how large your family is, but get you a camping tent. Now you're saying to yourself, well, what in the world do I need that for? Well, let's just say you're traveling and God forbid something happens, a natural disaster, uh, crap hits the fan situation, you've got shelter, and you can get some that will hold four to six people that you can actually pack into a backpack. Uh, the wife and I, we've got one from Cabela's. It, it'll it hold eight people. It'll be tight with eight, but it'll hold eight people. And I can get everything packed up and put on top of a rucksack and uh, carry it wherever I need to go. So, again, just some things to consider. Um... If you haven't got one, get you a life straw to put in your bug out bag or your get home bag or whatever you want to call that bag. And the life straw will help you, you know, be able to drink clean water in a situation where the water may be slightly contaminated or contaminated. Um, that life straw will filter all the impurities out and give you clean drinking water. Uh, I think you can get them for anywhere from 15 to thirty dollars depending on the brand and how many filters systems they put in it that's some of the things you need to consider doing as well but <clears throat> just want to share those items with you that I just didn't get into yesterday because we're focusing on the uh, the solar piece living off grid so keep that up um, this year me and mrs. old soldier we're gonna try and learn how to can our vegetables from our garden which uh, the garden's doing okay. It could be doing better, but it could be doing a whole lot worse like it did last year. So it looks like our taters are coming in. Our, our tomato plants have actually sprouted, which is a good thing. Because last year they didn't even sprout. Um, corn's coming up. It looks like we got some squash and zucchini and cucumbers getting ready to sprout out and, and, and come along the way. So we're going to have a wide variety of things. And so we're going to learn how to can them this year so we can store our harvest and, and start holding on to that as well. Um, I want to say next year, if, if the money situation permits, the son and I, we're going to build an in-ground greenhouse so that we can start trying to grow certain vegetables year round. Um, just, you know, it, like everything else, time, help, and money. Uh, and it seems like one or three are always in short supply, but eventually, we will get there. So, until tomorrow, my f YouTube friends and family, uh, y'all take care. God bless. Again, reach out to Con with Gun. Uh, uh,
Guns with Con and help him out. I'll put the link down below in the description. Uh, and we'll go from there until tomorrow, folks. Y'all be safe. If And then, as again, with this being Memorial Day weekend, before you fire up the grill, before you pop top on that beer, before you go out with friends on the lake and boating or camping or whatever you're going to do for your long weekend, please, 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 Take just a moment, a small pittance of time to pause, reflect, and remember the men and women of this nation that gave up all their tomorrows that you might have your today. They gave up their future for yours. Their blood was spilt to keep yours free. Remember their families as well. Is this time of year, this, this particular weekend, it, it, it really hits those gold star families very hard. Keep them in your thoughts and your prayers this weekend before you go and celebrate. I would certainly appreciate it. They would certainly appreciate it. But until tomorrow, my friends, God bless, take care. You don't know Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior, I'd ask you to seek him out and ask him to forgive you your sins, repent of your ways, and live for him. And he'll be with you the rest of the days of your life here on earth. So then, till tomorrow, this old soldier approved, this old soldier out. God bless each and every one of you.